we'll wait a minute or so just to see if there's anyone else going to come. It's 11 exactly. Oh, okay. Well, we'll wait a couple more minutes. Maybe Yvonne and Diane will join us and maybe Lori and we'll have a, if you're here, let me know by giving me a comment so I know you're here and I can, we can visit. Yeah, I wonder what, what they, what he said. Hope she's doing better. If you're here, leave me a comment and I would appreciate it if you would share um, so I can maybe get a few more people. Hi, Diane, you're here. Hi, Yvonne. Oh. Thank you for joining. I promise not to keep you too long. I don't know how long this is gonna take, so uh, we'll see. Yes, I see you're here, Diane. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for joining. Why don't we get started? Because, you know, it might take a little while. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to show you this set, which is on page 18 in the, celebra in the mini catalog. And it's called... Uh, it's called Thoughtful Moments. So it's Thoughtful Moments. And this is um, this is the, the embossing folder right here. And you can see it has, I think there's 10 different, um, 10 different sentiments. So thank you, oh happy day, thinking of you. Hello, love you, you make me happy with sympathy. Celebrate just because and get well. Very, all occasions. And then, along with it, since it's a hybrid, we get the um, the dies. And there's a, quite a few small dies. Uh, there's the heart, some flowers, a rainbow, and leaves, and little flowers. And then we have this large die. So when it means, when it says hybrid, hi Amy, good to see you. So when we, when we call it a hybrid, what it means is that the die will fit into the, um, the embossing folder. Oops, that would help if I had it the right way. And you just kind of wiggle it around and, and line it up and then it sticks. It stays right there. So you can do all kinds of things with this. And, uh, there's actually, I thought, hi, Beth. Thank you. I'm so glad you found us. <laughs> so I'm talking about the um, hybrid embossing folder called Thoughtful Moments. And it's an embossing folder plus dies. And the dies fit right into the uh, embossing folder. And then you can cut out these 10 different um, sentiments. And it doesn't actually come with a stamp set. It's just by itself. But once you, you'll notice me when I put this up here and I line it up, then it just kind of slides into place and it won't move. And if you're careful when you put it together, then you put it in and run it through your die cutting machine, then you have 10 different um, uh, <laughs> sentiments. That, but there's three different ways you can do this. And I'm going to do um, Stampin' Up! came out with this brayer, which is on page 19 or 18. And I'm going to show you how to do the brayer. But you can also use a blending brush and you can um, blend, you use your blending brush and just brush all over these. And that works really great too. Or you can even take an ink pad like my, this is Blackberry Bliss, and you can just ink it up that way too. But I want to show you with a brayer because it's just a little bit cleaner. <clears throat> so 
I'm going to make this card. I'm going to show you this card today, and it's because it's Valentine's. And um, this paper is is goes along with the hot air, um, and it's called uh, lighter than air. And so this paper, and then it has these two uh, hot air balloons that are that are actually Valentine's, and I cut them out with the hot air balloon dies and um, made this cute Valentine card. And then also, here's another one using the same set of, um, of the, and I made a thank you card using the light, flight and airy. So this is all of the ones that I've cut out and I just stuck them in there just to, sh to keep them handy. So I'm gonna start by, um, I'm. This is the, the card we're gonna do, and I'll show you that later. But this is a bubble bath, and I'm cutting it six by six, so it will fit right in here. And one thing when you do put this in, don't put it, bring it back just a tad bit from the, um, from the, the area here. This is the uh, fold, because you don't want it to, it, it, it could cut, um, it, it could uh, uh, wreck your, your um, embossing folder. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my brayer and I'm going to use the bubble bath with the Blackberry Bliss and and show you how to, I'll show you how to ink this up. So you take your brayer and the brayer, um, you want to run it all. So go, don't go back and forth because that will just take the ink off that you've just inked up. So just hold Go back, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth a few times to get it inked up really good. And I'm going to ink all of it so it's really well. And then you just take this and run it over. And you'll see, I think you can see where the it's outlining those sentiments. So just, and I'm going to do it one more time just to make sure it's well inked. And the ink that gets on the uh, edges, it doesn't matter. It won't, it won't cut anything. It won't, won't hurt your, and then just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then the nice thing about this brayer is that you can actually sit it down. It's got little feet and it won't get on your surface, which is a great idea. So now I'm going to set my, uh, die in here just like that until it slips right into place. Now it's firmly slipped into <laughs> now I'm already getting ink all over. Um, and then I'm going to add my paper which is bubble bath and close it up and then I'll bring in my die cutting and embossing machine and we'll be using the uh, for this it's a thick die you can see how thick it is and so you'll want to use platform number one which is your thick platform that's number one that will go in and then we're going to put the die with the fold at the front it will go through first and then we're going to use number four plate and we'll stick that through and then we'll run it through and you're thinking, ooh, it's kind of tight, but that's okay because we want it to be tight because it's going to emboss those words really well. Okay, we'll get rid of that. I think we need that right now. And then I'm going to open it up. And as you can see, I have all of them already cut out. So it makes it really easy to make a really quick card. As you can see, the one I made using the Flight and Airy, I didn't add anything. I just added some uh, cardstock and uh, white cardstock. I had some boho blue bubble bath and then the Flight and Airy. So it's really, really neat. I love this because then I, I cut them all out at the same time because then I've got them ready for the next card that I want to make. So I've got all of these and you can see they are well, um, let's see, I have some white paper here. What did I do with it? Here it is right here. I want you to see that well, well, oh, yeah, here we go. So you can see that they come out really nice and it's on the bubble bath and then the color is um, really cool because it, um, 
sorry, all the ums this morning. And you can see that you've got lots of sentiments, all occasions really. And uh, and they're outlined in the, uh, it's bubble bath outlined in with the Blackberry Bliss. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I just think it's so neat. So um, that's one way. And then as I said, you can actually take your ink pad and you can go like this and just ink it up that way. That's a really simple and it won't, even though it's in between, it won't come out because it's just going to um, actually do the, I'm going to, I'm going to show you because I want you to see this. <clears throat> and line it up. Now it's settled right in there. And then I've, I've got ink all over my fingers already. Uh, we'll put this down. I'm going to use the white. And we'll run that through again, and I'll show you how it is with, with the white. And then it goes in with the fold at the front. And we'll run that through. <laughs> Gotta have some muscles here. And here we have it with the white and the Blackberry Bliss. And then to clean it, all you have to do is just run into the, uh, the faucet and run it through the faucet and it will clean all that up. I do have a, um, a chamois and, uh, I took the glass mat chamois to my meeting the other night. I can't find it this morning. Of course, I waited till the last minute to look for it. But anyway, you can just wipe this off with a chamois or run it under water and it, it cleans up beautifully. I'll just take this and run it in underwater after I'm done. But here are, here are these. I, aren't they pretty? I just love the, you can just do so many, every color, literally, with white or a coordinating cardstock with a darker color. It really, 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 I just love it. I think it's so, so cool. I'm going to have to get me a special little um, holder for all these great um, sentiments that I've cut. Okay, so I am going to get a, well, I had one. I had my, um, <laughs> I'll do something. I had my, uh, oh, here they are. I had my, um, this is a great way to clean it too. I used a, use a um, baby wipe and my hands are so gre oh, so inky that uh, I don't want to get that all over the card when I'm making it. So, but this will also wipe off. Uh, you can see I've got ink here. You can just wipe that all off. And uh, it works great that way. So let's see if I can get some of that off. And I'll put the card together and then I'll show you some other samples. You know, I can't just stop, start with one. So this is the card we're doing. And I'm using the bubble bath. And this is bubble bath for the um, card base. It's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then I have four pieces of the lighter than air, which is the hot air balloon. And I have four pieces and these are cut two and five eighths by two, two inches by two and five eighths. And then I have a white piece for this inside, which is five and a quarter by four. Sorry, I should be putting those up there. And then um, we have the two um, hearts that are cut from the lighter than air and there's a, a frame that you can cut it with. So I'm going to put this card together real quickly. And if you share this, I will um, I will send this card to someone and I'll get it in the mail either today or tomorrow if the mail hasn't gone yet. And uh, so you can use it for Valentine's. And one thing I hope that when I send you uh, a card that I have made in, in my... Um, in my lives, when I send you a card, I hope you'll feel free to use it 
because I, uh, that's what I, why I do it. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you very much. And if you know of anybody that likes to watch videos, please tell them about me. I'm trying to do a little, trying to get a following. So these are just two inches by two and five eighths and they fit perfectly on the front of a card base. And, and then I'm going to use the, um, the, and I'll pop these up with dimensionals. So the Valentines will have some dimensionals. And take off the backing. Okay, so I think we'll put them this way this time on the stripes. And then I'll find the, the Love You. There's one other tip I wanna show you also. Here's the Love You. So you can see the difference between this love you and this love you. See the difference there? So you can actually take your brayer and very lightly, with a very light hand, you can brayer the, so you, I, I think you can see this, maybe on the hello it'll be, you can see that this is raised. Uh, so if you take a really light hand and run it over the top. I'll show you in just a minute how, how to do that. So I'm gonna put love you right here. And then this will go in the side and I probably would stamp some hearts from one of the stamp sets on the inside be before I sent it out. But I didn't get those out this morning. So the one thing you can do is you can ink up your brayer and I, it has a little ink on it, but. I, I'll just ink it up just a little bit more. And you can actually run, you can run with a very, very light hand. Hmm, I should have something to put down here, so I don't. Uh, let me get a piece of paper. And I will put this down so that I don't get it all over my glass mat. You can see the glass mat under here. So, um, and I mean a little, a very, very light. So just barely run it over and just, and you can see it fills in that area. So now it's really, um, really dark. So you, and it's just actually going on the, um, and I want to do it too much because then it will get in the, in the, be in between and you don't want that, but you can, actually do that and I'll do it on this one too just for kicks and see you can see how the ink is adhering to the raised part so maybe you can see the raised part there and I could do it again this way and get that other part there so makes it really nice isn't that cool thank you Rebecca that is darling paper so that's pretty much what you can do. A nice another thing you can do is use a blending brush if you don't have the brayer and just blend just blend it all around on the um, on the letter on the words and that will work just as well. So now I want to show you. Oh, I want to show you the other ones I did because. Of course, I can't stop with just one. So this one is, uh, this this card is actually one that I saw on Susie Woods. She's a very sweet demonstrator and shares a lot. So um, I used, and I made the red. I used the red on the white. So you can see that. And then here's another one. And with this one, I cut out the um, sweet sorbet, and this is Parakeet Party, 
and I just put it behind and kind of um, gave it a shadow. And so I cut out using the parakeet party and then I could go over that with whatever I wanted, but it's very evident there. And then here's another one. I used the uh, Highland Heather and this is the perennial um, lavend lavender perennial DSP and I used the purple. And I did purple on, I did uh, Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape. And I made the um, the ones with that. And then this is a really, I mean, talk about a quick card. If you need quick cards for thank you or whatever. And this is, this is another one. So this is using the Thoughtful Expressions dies and the, uh, the Celebration uh, Softly, I can't think of the name of it. So, uh, but anyway, this is using the uh, embossing folder that's a free one during celebration. So anyway, that is um, how to use the Thoughtful Moments dies and embossing folder, a hybrid. I hope that you learned something. Yeah, isn't that pretty, Rebecca, the red and the white? Hello, a lot. I know that's gorgeous. And, you know, I, I'm going to get me a little something and put all these in it because now when I have a card and I need a one really quickly, I can just make a real quick one just like this one. This is just basic white, a uh, red, real red, some more basic white, and then this is the most adoring, most adored, most adoring celebration free paper that with the hearts on it. And I could have put love you and made this a Valentine's card, but I don't have to. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And again, if you would, um, thanks Beth. That's very, I appreciate that. Um, yes, great for a Valentine. Perfect for a Valentine, Rebecca. I like, I like this set. I'm really impressed with it. It's really a, a fun one. So um, if you are interested in ordering, you can go to my online store, Jan Stamping Creations, and place an order. And if you um, will share this again, I will send one of these, I will send this card out. Actually, I'll send this one out to today or tomorrow so you can have it in time for Valentine's for those that shared. And I'll choose one of you. Oh, tack Tackle Box is a great idea. Thank you, Beth. I will do that. I think I might even have one somewhere around here. <laughs> a clean one, not a dirty one. <laughs> okay, thank you. And I hope that your day goes well and that you enjoyed this little demonstration. Have a great one. Oh. <laughs>